As a little kid, there's nothing I'd rather do than lay in the sand at the beach and make sand castles or dig in the mud and build things uh, at home. Architecture is sort of kind of the only thing I've really ever wanted to do. Maybe at first I didn't know that's what it was, but it always did seem for me it was about making things that, even if they were imaginary, I was making cities or houses. So it's always been, I think, for me about living spaces, not, yeah, not just uh, an object. Hi, my name is Ron Radziner. I'm an architect. Welcome to my home. This house for me has a lot of rigor to it, the way the different pieces all come together. And I think sometimes with my clients, I, I'm probably not quite as rigorous because it's for someone else and they want XYZ and so I kind of give it to them. I think what this house has made me want to be is more rigorous with them, like really push them to go further. It makes me pathetically happy. Like I don't think it's it's almost silly to get to for me to get to walk through it, and I I'm so happy with you know just the proportions of things and how light comes through. And I, I think anyone who gets to build a house, even if you're not the architect, but you're just the client, but you get to participate and then live in a house that meets you know your expression of of what living is about. I mean, it's an incredible thing. It's funny, I still think when young people ask me, you know, what should I do if I think I want to be an architect? What classes should I take? I actually still recommend life drawing. Like I still believe being able to sketch the human form which has to do with proportion and structure and shade and shadow is still like fundamentally what architecture is about. In my office I, I sort of want to often start drawing on the screen. So as things like the iPad start to change it. As a young person, when you go off on your own to do anything, probably, you feel like you know everything uh, there is to know about that thing you're doing. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't take the crazy leap of just going off on your own to doing it. The reality is, um, if I look back on that time, I really knew so little. I feel I'm a much better architect than I was 20 years ago. But I think the difference is I also feel like I have so much more to learn. That constant growth that you go through as you do every project, experience, see spaces, work with materials, and you continue to, to benefit from that. And that's, it's exciting to always feel like you're learning.